Shout out to Krishkin and John for this footage. guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode and i want to thank each and every one of you for pushing that play button if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so if you're on your mobile device you're on your computer however you're watching this right now definitely go over to that subscribe button click that because i'm going to teach you a lot of things about the generation corvettes that's to come and also the current ones that we have right now in our presence so i would like for you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that way you can be part of this awesome community and a part of this journey today's video i'm going to teach you something that you may need for your Corvette, regardless of what Corvette you have, so that way you do not damage your Corvette. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. So a lot of people have been complaining about how low the C7 Corvette is. Now, if you take a look, obviously this is the, the normal wheel gap. I haven't lowered my car whatsoever, but a lot of people have lowered their Corvettes, so that way um, it looks cleaner, it looks slicker to them. I haven't lowered mine at all. I don't plan on doing it, that's just me. But a lot of people have been complaining about how they damage the front ends of their cars due to going over speed bumps, driving in their driveway, and that's became a pain in the butt. If you look at the C8 Corvette, you also have the wheel gaps as well. Now you take a look, they're pretty much about the same. They pretty much are identical wheel gaps, but a lot of people also still been kind of complaining about the wheel gaps in both cars and they lowered their cars, be able to pretty much have a, a better stance, a better look, and they feel like it's gonna ride a little bit better. Well, some issues may come with that if you decide to get the front lift in your car. Do I have a front lift in my C8 Corvette? Absolutely. Do I love my front lift in my C8 Corvette? Absolutely. I wish the C7 had a front lift, but it doesn't. But, so for certain people, there are certain driveways that kind of sucks, regardless whether you own a C7 Corvette, C8 Corvette, C6 Corvette, C5 Corvette, and so forth and so forth. And so I'm gonna teach you some things that you need to know in order to properly um, not damage your car, because damaging your Corvette in any kind of way, fashion, or form could cause you a lot of money in the long run. I'm gonna show you an awesome product that will help you prevent you from damaging your car, because one thing we all know that you drive your Corvette to every day is your house. And you want something to prevent from damaging your car on a regular basis. And this product help you from damaging your car, but also keep your strucks and your shocks and everything else in your car good as well. I mean, along with the wheels, because these wheels, you know, are really expensive. And this product I'm gonna show you is gonna teach you how to prevent from damaging them, from cracking them. Your car lasts, you know, longevity. And I'm telling you right now, this product is something that I've been interested in for years now, because my driveway sucks. Um, I have to slowly go up and down my driveway all the time. As you notice, my C8 Corvette has come in forward. My C7 Corvette, I pretty much back in. I cannot back my C8 in in my driveway. I, I, I just can't. And I cannot go forward in my driveway with my C7. The reason why is because my driveway freaking sucks. So here we are guys, take a look at my driveway. As you can see, this right here was redone. They actually broke this up and redug it and re pretty much put this back in the ground. As you can see right now, it is not level right here and it's not level right here. If you go down a little bit more and you can see this big old hump. So when I'm driving my C7 Corvette on this driveway, my very end goes up just fine. If I drive my C7 Corvette forward, my front splitter will scratch, it will break, it will damage all over this concrete right now. If I drove my C8 backwards, if you look underneath your C8, I'm gonna show you the rear diffuser will touch this part before my back tire touches this part, which I cannot um, stand. So in order for me to get my C8 in the garage, I need to actually drive my C8 forward and use the front end lift. And I still actually couldn't even get my Corvette above my ground um, concrete slab right here with using a two inch lift. I still have to actually put a brick down and drive my car at an angle to still get it up on my concrete slab. And I'm telling you right now, it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Um, if you look right here, it's still not level. So this and this part right here, sure you not, it sits higher than this part because then you run into this part. 
and they will do all this so the water can drain through and this freaking sucks so i got a product that will fix all of this for you guys this product was sponsored to me by bridget and i want you guys to understand it's an awesome product so right now i'm going to show you and demonstrate to you what i got to do to get my corvette both of my corvettes in and out of the garage What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Here is their website, Bridget Curve Ramps. The guys are great. Thank you, Mr. John, for sponsoring me with this awesome product. I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best products I've been sponsored with on my YouTube channel as far as keeping my car from being damaged and giving that longevity that I need within driving my car up and down my concrete slab every single day. So definitely go check them out. Shout out to John. So here we have it, guys. We have our new Bridget Curve Ramps for your driveway. Now, if you want to purchase one of these bad boys, here's a website. Here is a phone number. It's one of the best products you can buy. It will literally save you so much money from damaging the undercarriage, the diffuser, your front end splitter, and save you time and money with your shocks and tires and wheel over time. If you continually decide to drive up and down your ramp the same way going forward, you will most likely damage your wheels and tires. And that's going to cost you more money than this product was. I'm telling you right now, if you go over to Bridget Curve Ramps, contact them, tell them Seek on a Speed 252 sent you, and ask for John. I'm telling you right now, they can hook you up with one of these products. And I'm telling you, it will be one of the best products you will ever purchase in your lifetime for your C8 and for your C7 Corvette and all your cars to come. This just doesn't work just for your Corvettes. It works for any of your cars, whether you own a Lamborghini, McLaren, a Ferrari, a truck, an SUV. This will definitely help you protect your structs, your shocks, your front splitter, and your rear diffusion for your Corvette. There you go, guys. Here is the Bridget. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to put this bad boy together. You can also go to their website as well and they will teach you how to put this bad boy together. This will show you exactly how to do a step-by-step, -step, but their website will also show you how to do a step-by-step. -step. I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best products you can buy. It's about the Bridget. As you can see right now, here's a picture of it pretty much showing you what exactly it looked like. This is a three-piece set, and they also have a four-piece set, depending on your driveway. Now, you do want to go out and message your driveway to make sure you order the right one. For my driveway, the three-piece set was all I need. You got the two bolts here, two bolts here. I got an end piece there and an end piece there. I'm going to put this bad boy together and show you exactly how it works in my driveway. But I'm going to also demonstrate to you how it works. Um, going up and down in your driveway. But, so as you see guys, as I mentioned before, I have the three piece Bridget set here to where if it rains, it goes right underneath here and you don't have to worry about this moving out of the way. It's too heavy to be moved, so you'll be good to go. So yes, the water will clear right through this hole. You don't have to worry about it. Once again, that's the Bridget. Here's the phone number, one eight seven seven five two two six six one one. Bridget.com. So I'm going to put this thing together and show you exactly what it looks like. guys as you can see the Bridget is fully installed it comes with this piece this piece and that piece or you can call the right piece middle piece left piece it comes with these four bolts which is already inserted into the middle piece see right here there's another two that's already inserted in the middle piece as you saw earlier and then it comes with this bolt that bolt this screw this screw 
that bolt, that bolt, this screw, and that screw. And then you hammer these in as you saw earlier, then you screw them in as well. So we no longer have to use that brick anymore. So what I'm gonna do is flip this bad boy over and demonstrate my car going up and down on this ramp. Now see guys, this is exactly why you need to bridge it. Such an easy mechanism to put together. And you can see that my tire is literally on the bridge right now. And look how much clearance I have. I won't scrape my car at all. The front wheel is off the ground. Well, pretty much off the road, but the front wheel is on a bridge and the front of the car is off the ground. And now I will be able to clear my garage. And obviously once the other tire hits on the other side over there, the car will further go up off the ground with no damage. guys you can see my wheel and my tire is on the bridge and you can see that back rear diffuser is off the ground just a little bit boy now obviously once I turn this car completely around I would then be able to actually get my car off the ground and drive it in the grab drive it in the um, garage backwards like I always want guys there you have it the awesome product the awesome bridge go to their website check out their product order you one and tell me your thoughts on them I'm telling you right now it will help protect your front end of your car your struts your shocks your wheels and your tires going forward such an easy process to put together such an affordable product mr john you guys are outstanding thank you for believing me and sending this product that way i'm able to get my cars in and out of garage the safest way possible once again it is bridget.com you notice that my c8 now is facing that way and my c7 is facing that way when before, my C7 would be facing that way and my C8 would be facing that way. But that was the only way I was able to put my car in a garage safely. Now I can put my car in a garage however way I want to. I may end up turning the C7 back the other direction. But we'll see when that time comes. Once again, thank you guys for watching this upload. If you want to buy one of my key tags, which is my very uh, most popular item right now, go to my website, wwwseagonaspeed 252com it will greatly support the channel. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And once again, I see another episode of Seek on the Speed 252.